Hello everyone, my name is Adam Marie Vox, and welcome to a new Photoshop tutorial. I actually had the wrong thing open here. Um, when there's a, a new Adobe CC Suite update batch just came out for Photoshop and Premiere and After Effects and Audition, adding a quite a few new features to the set. In this video, I'm going to cover a couple new features added to Adobe Photoshop. Actually, in this video, I'm going to cover one. And in the next one, I'll cover the other one. But we're going to start with a more fun one, which is Face Liquify. Now, if you don't know what Liquify is, I'm going to open up here. I grab an image off of Barnacles Nerdgasm's Twitter. Now, if you don't know who Barnacles is, uh, he's a big tech YouTuber. And he posts a lot of goofy stuff to his Twitter account. And so I just grabbed a quick photo here. Now, typically, my... By the way, my layout's all screwed up because I'm using DPI scaling to make the tutorial easier to see. Normally, with... Uh, with liquify it's to we we use it in goofy like thumbnails and such to make eyes bigger now here you have the face liquify option where is the normal just the float tool okay so normally when we're liquefying eyes which is just to make them bigger and to bulge out and look goofy for like thumbnails and stuff and i chose barnacles as an example of this simply because he's normally the one who does this uh normally you just use this bloat tool and do -do 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 -do. Do -do 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 -do. And you get something like that, which looks really stupid, but then when you scale it down, it looks like he has giant creepy eyes. However, that's not always the, the easiest, and it doesn't always work super easy. So instead, we have face liquid or face aware liquify, which is this face tool here. And you see it puts up these curves around the face. It actually identifies that there's a face here. And then you have specific like tools around the eyes now if the head's rotated too far it won't detect it so you have to temporarily rotate the image to actually recognize the eyes but then we don't even have to use anything crazy we can automatically start like we can make the eyes super small we can start dragging them up and make them bigger we can rotate them <laughs> we can completely move them and like warp them so we can make them look like the monster from the goonies or something like that I believe you can even sort of rotate the face to a degree. Here on the right, in this right side panel, you have a ton of customization op options. It's as if you're doing character creation in like Skyrim or uh, an RPG or something. Because you can change the eye size, the eye height, the eye width, the eye tilt. You can tilt them all goofy and crazy. The eye distance. You can spread them apart, make them closer. There's a lot of options here that you can play with. And then here you see it says select face. If you have a picture with multiple faces in it, you can actually choose between uh, multiple of the faces on there. And as you can see, I can sit here and screw with this forehead. <laughs> Again, screw with the cheekbones. Or right, let's shrink them up a ton, see what we can do in that regard. My cat is messing with the lines in the background. Apologies, apologies. Here we can make, we can make a super, super tiny. Oh, we can even mess with the nose and the mouth. I guess super oh we can get <laughs> that smile <laughs> okay i'm not here to actually make fun of him i would i really wanted to choose him because he does all the liquify stuff so let's go with the normal route here um so we're gonna make the eyes bald which is what i want to do but this makes it a lot easier than trying because for, for me it, for people who have bigger like more exposed eyes it's a little bit easier to use the 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 bloat tool for the liquify but for me, I've never had good luck with it working right. So with this kind of tool, we can mess with it. And then even for like goofy thumbnails, like you can sit here and give yourself like a ridiculous smile for a video. And suddenly that looks a lot more goofier for like a thumbnail. But what's really cool is you can even do this to video. You can apply the liquify filter to an entire video. So I grabbed this video from his Twitter account as well. And again, I just want to say like I... I love Jerry. I love Barnacles. He's a great guy. Love his channel. I specifically chose him because, of, like, even if you pull up his channel here, he has all these goofy, like, faces and stuff that he does. Like, this is what he does. So I'm not... This isn't, like, me trying to make fun of him. See, right there. Right there. There is the liquify applied to his eye. He does lots of goofy stuff like that, so that's why I chose him. So if we drag in the video, assuming it recognizes the video format from Twitter here, which may be hit or miss, to be honest. Yep, here we go. Okay. So we've got our video layer on our timeline and then if we go to filter and liquify that's not a good spot on the timeline because his eyes are kind of close because he's starting the video so let's 
jump ahead a little bit so we can see it. There we go. There are some eyes. All right, filter, liquefy, face aware. It picks up the face. They're a little bit darker in this video because of the lighting, but we can sit here and make his eyes a whole lot bigger. And then we can still give him a goofy smile. Although that'll probably look weird once the video renders out, but then next time it shows his eyes. To get it to apply to the whole video instead of just one frame, which is something I realized that not everyone might know how to do, is you have to actually convert the video into a smart object. You right click the layer and go to convert to smart object. Still has all the video frames, but then when you go to filter and liquify, then it's actually applied to the entire video, whereas just doing it without converting it to the smart object form actually only applies it to the specific frame at which the little playhead is at in the video. Once you convert it to smart object and apply it that way, it will render out with the entire video liquefied. And it's actually pretty cool. And so I'll play the sample at the end of this video. And then if I export our video out here, which I'll throw on at the end of this clip, you'll see that it's applied to the video just that simple. So hope you enjoyed this tutorial, guys. If you did, smash the like button, get subscribed for more awesome tech videos. And otherwise, I will catch you in the next one. Hey, what's up, guys? I don't post very many Twitter videos. Actually, I don't know if I've ever posted a Twitter video. Uh, but I was thinking about something. I'm shooting my video, and I keep resetting and doing reshoots, and now I'm, like, taking notes because it's a technical topic. And I'm thinking to myself, I think the bigger I get on YouTube, the more I feel like I have to be professional. And I think that's bullshit. So I'm going to go back to just being the fun-loving, crazy, weird editing barnacles I've always been. And I apologize if you guys followed me because of the serious Jerry you see today.